Actress Emma Stone has starred in a number of hit films, including The Help, Birdman, and La La Land. And she won an Academy Award for Best Actress in the musical movie, Rachel Weisz. She starred in the Mummy film franchise, very popular. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in the 2005 drama, The Constant Gardener. So two oh, slackers funny. here. The talented duo <laughs> teamed up for the new historical drama, The Favorite. This movie is so good. It's set in the 18th century when Queen Anne ruled England. It tells a story of the rivalry between Lady Sarah Churchill and Abigail, Abigail Masham as they fight for the Queen's affection. Mr. Harley came to me and asked me to betray your confidence about what goes on between you and the Queen and Godolphin. I see. And what will you do? I'm not going to, obviously. Not obviously. You may tell me of his approach to encourage my trust and still work both sides of the street. I am a person of honor, even if my station is not. Even if I were the last one left in this wretched place, I would remain a lady. <laughs> You're pretty when outraged. So my secrets are safe with you? All of them. All of them. And then she proceeds to shoot her. Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz <laughs> want to set the table. I'm not giving anything away. Good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I describe this movie as mean girls on steroids. There, <laughs> what I like so much is the dialogue between the two of you. You go first, Emma. You looked at the script and you thought, what? Oh, I was in love. Uh -huh. it, was, it was heaven to read, uh, uh, you know, a, a story like that, and especially those types of parts, those beautiful, rich, layered, complex parts for three women was uh, a dream. Oh, wow. yeah, and you were the only American in the cast, right? It was, yeah. Yep. And Rachel, why were you drawn to the character of Lady Churchill? Um, I think I think all the characters are really interested and complicated, and I, I know what you mean about the, the Mean Girls yes. comp, but because there are lots of females in the leading roles, and they're not always uh, kind to each other, but the difference in this is it's not about becoming the most popular girl in the class, it's about running England. So at the beginning of the film, I'm running England. Uh, the Queen is, thinks she's in charge, but she's not. By the end of the movie, this one's taken over. <laughs> so it's kind of like vying for... It's very high stakes, mean girls, I would say. No, I know. Variety calls the it the tooth and claw duel of elegant backstabbing that plays out between the two cousins. So describe the power struggle between the two of you, because you come and you were sort of a scullery maid. At one point, you recall, you, you refer to her as scullery scraps. Yeah. And you were the one, Rachel, who was clearly in charge. And then the things took a turn. Yeah. I'm, as I mentioned, as I like to keep mentioning, running England. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and my cousin, who, who's fallen from, she's an aristocrat originally, he's fallen from grace, and, and she comes to court and flatters me. And um, so I think, she, I think, oh, here's this beautiful young ingenue, a protege, and I totally, totally don't realize how powerful yeah. she is. She's no... She ain't no ingenue. No. 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 She's trouble. <laughs> she is. I know you trouble. said this was physically challenging for you. How so? Um, it was, I mean, it was physically fun as well. Yeah. It was, you know, uh, uh, but they're just, you know, Abigail, my character goes through a lot of being slapped, pushed over, rolls down a hill, falls in mud, gets tackled. Uh, it's, it was just a pretty much a daily <laughs> sort of uh Falling down stairs, yeah. yeah, exactly. I slap you pretty hard. You slap me pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. Were the costumes uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't. Should we pretend that they were really comfortable? They were great. They were lovely. <laughs> yeah, like, like they're incredibly great. beautiful. But they were so beautiful. But hard to hard to breathe. I mean, I think everyone everyone has that has that kind of feeling, right? That was it, that I era. I in Spanx, but I don't think Spanx <laughs> moves my body organs. You said that these corsets were so tough that you actually felt that your body organs had moved. I think that's just because I'm straight up and down and I wasn't used to corsets. Well, think Spanx with whale bones, like oh, right. 40 whale bones exactly. in them. Yeah. And then Awful. people were And then like being tied yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Well, breathing is... But fine. it was also, secondary. guys, a very interesting time in history. Mm. That's the other thing that fascinated me because, you know, you, you wouldn't think that the queen was taking lesbian lovers back during those times. That's why I was sort of... Surprised. And why not? I, exactly <laughs> right, Rachel. Exactly right. Yeah. But when I saw it on the of screen, course, I, I was course. a little like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, we know that there were... Um, there are love letters between my character and the queen. Um, what actually happened in private, in the bedroom, obviously we don't know. The, the filmmakers dreamt, dreamt that up, the dialogue, and what happened in private between... 
Abigail and the Queen. And the queen. <laughs> yeah, and you both end up yeah, getting no. married. And on yeah. that note, Rachel, you may have yeah. noticed we in the United States are a bit obsessed with the British royal family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Given yes. that you are from London, did you learn more about the monarchy mm -hmm. and were you as enthused to do it as so many of us are? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know much about Queen Anne. I, I think she's not much known about, mm -hmm. but I, I, what's fascinating about 1708 is that the Queen is actually, um, I love Meg Meghan Markle, but she won't actually be able to, well, she actually, she is going to try and change a lot of things through, yes. mm -hmm. but she's not running the country, obviously, but back in 1700, it's like she's the, the president, right. so mm -hmm. she's, in, she's in charge. Actually, as I've mentioned twice, now three times, I'm you in charge, are. and then you're, you're in, in charge, charge baby. <laughs> a big week for Emma. It was election day, and you turned 30. Congrats. Oh, yeah. And Rachel has a new baby in the house. Congrats to you and Dan. Oh, here. Thank you. Happy for you. Thanks. Thanks. Well, it's a great, great movie, and great to see so many women in charge. Yeah, yeah going back through history. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. The favorite perfect. right here. Emma and Rachel, thank you so much. Congrats on the movie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the favorite opens nationwide on November 23rd.